Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 62 of Darwell 20s Let's Play of Not Too Complicated, where I've been making progress. Uh, I'm not totally done. Actually, I'm not even close to done. I got a lot more work to do. Uh, but I'm getting there. So between Platinum and Mercury is gold. Sweet. Uh, so real quick, what am I working on? So I've been, I've been tweaking a little bit how I'm going to do things with regards to the the setup here, and I just wanted to kind of show you so you could see what I'm working on. So I wanna show you the process that I've been going through. For example, uh, first off, I changed it up so that each line of nine chemistry combiners will represent one row of the ultimate table, just like I kind of did with the singularities, right? So we've got gallium, followed by germanium, followed by arsenic, followed by selenium. And I have all that done, right? So there's gallium, there's, you know, whatever. Uh, it's it's that order, right? Uh, gallium, germanium, arsenic, selenium. Got it? Straight on down the line. Now the current one I'm working on is yttrium, right? So that's the, that's the third from the end here, right? So that's yttrium. That'll go into this spot, right? This guy has an ingot in already, so it'll be in the... Th third to the last spot. This way it's a bit more organized and I'm tracking stuff, right? So yttrium, right? I, I, I calculated that we need this stuff, which only comes from fusion or fission. You can tell because the chemical dissolver recipe is always one, if that's the case. Um, luckily, the fission recipes show up in here. So if it's an easy fissionable path, then you can see it on JEI. If it's not, then you have to do fusion. Um, so fission, I noticed gold, for example, which I know I have a ton of, breaks down into zirconium and yttrium. And then I said to myself, well, I wonder if I need zirconium. So let's find out. Zirconium ingots? Yeah, they're also used for the ultimate block. So let's definitely use gold, is what I said, all right? So then we drop gold into here, right? And then I say I want zirconium um, ingots times four. And then it does this thing. Hey, look how fast it's going. It's almost like somebody put a watch of flowing time over here. Uh, and then what happens is the four zirconium goes in here. Then I pop over to my chemical combiner and I kind of double click and it's fast enough to let in the zirconium and then lock it into place. Cool? How cool is that? I mean, you know, that's pretty good, I think. Um, and that actually wasn't supposed to be zirconium, was it? That was supposed to be yttrium. Actually, zirconium is the next one. So what I should have done... That's actually funny that it happens to be that zirconium is the next one. I thought zirconium might be further down the line, but it's not. So let's double click you. You're going to be yttrium. And then zirconium is going to be the next one down the line. See? How cool is that? All right. And... Uh, there we go. So now we've got yttrium and zirconium, and then we need niobium, uh, which looks like this stuff might come from other things. So you can get it from prismarine, you say. Okay, and prismarine shards have an EMC value, which is cool. So I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw prismarine shards in there. That's how I'm gonna do that. I'm trying to avoid too much um, processing of fusion and fission if I can, because Currently, the way my setup is, we really only have slots for nine of those. We may have to expand it, right? So we'll see what happens there. But long story short, you know, we'll be fine. Let's clear out all this gold back stuff, right? Nice and cleaned. And then we'll probably have to stage the, the chemical components for this stuff. So it's just neo, neobinium that we have to do. Everything else we're good on? Cool. All right, neobinium is slot 41, 41, 41, next to zirconium. Neobinium is up into the left of tungsten and right below vanadium. So that's where you live, my friend. And then we're ready for neobinium ingots. Right? And then what happens is it goes in here, it has nowhere to go because it's all the recipes are locked. This is the recipe that's locked blank. I double click and it quickly unlocks and relocks with the new target. And now we're good for neobinium. Cool? Making progress. 
So that's kind of the process I'm going down, right? Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just show you guys how I started this process. And like I said, I'm gonna do a lot of it off camera, but we're gonna, you know, work through it all, right? So we're gonna do this. And clearly I'm gonna be doing a lot of, you know, off camera E type work for this because this is gonna get really repetitive really soon. Technetium, and I'm just assuming that most of these uh, do require the whole alchemistry process. Uh, I'm sure that there's gonna be some, which I might, you know, find out don't, like silver, for example, so that's kinda nice. Cadmium, so I'll skip silver, right? Indium, and then tin, we'll skip tin, cool? Okay, and then, uh, yeah, so I don't even have to do tin or silver. So we'll just leave them there, and then the processing will be as such. I'll probably keep it in the line and just have them be blank, just so I can stick to the same pattern, right? And then you, and then you. So that everything is kind of patterned out. So I'll just leave blank spots for the silver and tin, even though that's wasteful of chemical combiners, but like, who cares? Because I have infinite resources forever. There's literally nothing I don't have. <laughs> so easy peasy, right? So then if we look at molybdenum, that's how you pronounce it, molybdenum, uh, you can break down polonium, acetate, or bismuth. Do we have any of those? Polonium, acetate, and bismuth. I'd really like to do fusion if I can. Molybdenum is also 42. Do we have 41? 41 would be neobidium, which I think we do have, don't we? Yeah, that's one we just got a bunch of, right? So what we can say is U plus hydrogen will be molybdenum. So neobidium plus hydrogen will be molybdenum. Okay. We drop this guy in the fusion pattern. And now if I want four molybdenum ingots, the fusion processor will start fusing. And thanks to my watch, it doesn't take forever, right? Then those ingots worth will all sit in here. Molybdenum is the first one, so I double click, and now we're set, molybdenum's done, right? And then technetium is the next one. And I'm pretty sure that's a pretty high number. If I'm ah, oh, it's actually 43, it's not bad. Granite has technetium in it. Um, but in such small numbers, what else? Francium, radon, and acetate. Did we get radon? I feel like we had radon. Didn't we have radon? Or am I crazy? We do have radon in copious amounts. I forget where we got it from. Oh, it's Dragon's Breath. Okay, yeah, that's cool. So then what we can do is we come over here. We tell it, hey, radon equals to that. Throw it in the fission crafter, right? And if we have to have other, you know, we could put fit one like above, we could fit one in front. Um, and then if we need more than that, we're gonna have to deal with it. Yeah. And then technetium, we say, I want four of those. The radon's gonna split, it'll sit in this barrel. And then I double click. And now we've got that one going. Easy peasy, right? We're getting there. We're getting there. So this is what I've been doing, right? Uh, just a little bit off camera-ish. Francium, actinium, and radium. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know if we have any of those. We don't have 88, do we? We have radon, but I don't think we have radium, which is 88. 88 would be sitting right here under barium. Uh, so then what I'm gonna say for this one right, is maybe fusion is the way to go. Cause we don't have, act well, I can look to see if there's like anything easy for any of these, but it doesn't look like there is, right? Um, did I get radium or radon just now? Technetium came from radon. Yes, okay, that's what I thought. For some reason I got like super confused for a sec. But ruthenium comes from radium, which, oh, it also, radium also comes from, oh, it comes from granite, I guess, okay. Cool. 
So anyway, let's figure this out, right? So this will be 44. Um, so do I have a lot of 43s or 42s or anything? Um, 44 is ruthenium, technetium is 43, molybdenum. Also, get me some molybdenum just so I have it staged in the table. So molybdenum goes right next to neobidium. So this one goes here. Cool. Um, so this one's going to actually be a little bit tricky. Ruthenium. Uh, what do we, how about 22? Do we have a lot of that? Do we have a lot of titanium? We do have a lot of titanium. So I could fuse two titaniums into this guy, right? You can really fuse any two chemicals you want. I'm just trying to find like a relatively simple path of least resistance kind of guy, right? So if we said that would be ruthenium 44. So two 22s is a 44, right? And that'll be our fusion process. That's easy enough. And titanium, remember, I think we have seeds for. So that's an easy one to get lots of, like really easy, right? So let me do this. And then we want for you. And then that's sitting in here because you have nowhere else to go. Okay. Uh, and then this is the third one. So double click and then boom. All right, cool. All right, I think I'm going to do the rest of this off camera. If anything interesting or cool happens, I will let you know. Uh, but other than that, I'm just mostly sitting here doing this. Um, so we have a bit of thorium. Where did this come from? Oh, it's endstone. That's right. That, I remember that being a pain to get. I probably don't want to use that one. Um, so yeah, we'll be back in a few once I do some more of this stuff. So I have to get up to 90. No, I have to get up to 45, 45. So 19 plus 26 equals 45, right? Yeah, buddy. That's the way we're going to play that one. I just wanted you guys to have closure on which one I picked to go with. All right, for reals, now we'll be right back. All right, quick status update for you guys. <laughs> Whew, this is a process. I mean, it has taken a while uh, just to get everything programmed here. But I've got the first three rows done. So I'm a third of the way through, I guess you could say. Uh, and a lot of these names are not familiar to me. You know, a couple of them like Neodymium. I was like, oh, look, I know that one. We already have that. I don't have to do much. But I think almost everyone so far I've had to do things with. Um, you know, clearly we have a few... Uh, a few a few more things to do here right um so we're gonna disconnect you disconnect you you and you and then that'll be this line down here i'm gonna stage out all my remaining dudes i think would be smart so extract from you and remember i want that extract to be fast yeah, yeah, I think that would be cool. So let's stage out the remaining. So that's four. This is going to be five, right? So you're going to be an extract. And you will be fast. And then you'll be an extract. Cool. I'm pretty good at pattern stuff. And so when, <laughs> once I come up with a pattern on how to do things, I'm pretty locked in. I'm like, yeah, I got this. Just repeat the pattern and then you're good. So yeah, it should be fine. Technically, this doesn't matter, but if we want to keep it looking nice, it'll it'll have to be that. Uh, so that's five. So we're gonna need four more rows of the chemical combiners, uh, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is 36. So let's do that many. Right. Um, yay, math. Cool. Uh, and then, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Interfaces and barrels. We might as well just stage everything we're going to need here. Right. And then barrels underneath. I can Minecraft. 
I are good Minecrafter. Cool. All right. So basically just going to, you know, continue the pattern. Uh, and then, like I said, if we run into elements we already have, we get to skip them. And that's an exciting time because, boy, is this taking a while. Like, I think I've been here for like half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, like doing all this. And it's like I got two rows done, right? Like, we're <laughs> it's rough. It's rough, guys. It's taking a while, but we're getting there, right? We've got all three of these guys complete. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll just I'll just be plugging away, and we'll come back when I'm when I've got more done. Well, I'm looking out on the fifth line, guys. Let me tell you. So check this out. Line number five has lutetium, hafnium, tantalum, tungsten. Oh, we already have that for seeds, right? Rhenium, okay, I don't know that one. Osmium, we definitely have osmium. Iridium, I'm currently crafting that because it's a seed one. Platinum, which I will be making shortly out of seeds. Uh, and then finally, thallium, which is the thing. So like, I think it's three of them are seed based, which is cool. So I'm just, uh, I'm gonna make whatever I can, obviously with seeds, cause like, yes, very yes. Right, I think that's a smart move. So then iridium goes in there. And you just, you know, kick off a little burst of initials, right? And then for platinum, same deal. So I'm going to say iridium is taken care of, but I'm not going to fully knock it off just yet. Um, there we go. And then platinum should be the same deal. Didn't you get import bust? Where did the ingots go? Oh, it probably went to the Platinum Singularity. Yeah, buddy. There you go. Oh, you know what? I already have seeds, don't I? I already have seeds then. Right? Do I? I must already have seeds if I'm making a Platinum Singularity, yes? Do I already have Platinum Seeds? Did I do that one already? I don't see the seeds though. So then how am I making a platinum singularity? How did we do that? How are you being fulfilled? How did I do, oh yeah, no, we're definitely making something. How come I don't see platinum as a craftable ingot in here? Am I crazy? How is this working? Sort by number of items stored and craftable. So you're stocking without a crafting card. Oh, you know why? I bet I know why. I know why. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I did platinum over here, didn't I? Yup. There you go. All right. So platinum, we don't even have to like do nothing with, right? Like platinum's done. Um, we're just gonna say platinum is good, and iridium. I just need to teach the seed recipe for. Yeah, see, Dyer forgets he does things sometimes. It's it's a Dyer thing. But yeah, Iridium is now good. Platinum's definitely good. Cool. And then we only have five to make recipe-wise. Sweet. So Lutetium, that actually 50% chance from Purpur. 50% chance from Popped Chorus. 100% chance from Shulker Shell. Let's do that. Because that will be cool. Do we not have Lutetium yet? No. So here's what we do. Um, when I run into an item that it works, generally I just dump a whole bunch in by doing this. And this is going to fill this up real quick. Right? And then Lutetium is going to start to populate. Once I get about two rows in here, I clear this out. Dump the remainder of this. We look at Lutetium, which is 71, which is going to be the bar bottom right here. That's lutetium, and now we know how to make lutetium ingots. Cool. And then hafnium. So usually what I've been doing now is basically hanging out over here. You are literally only gonna happen from fusion. Uh, so 22 is titanium. How are we for titanium? I think we're pretty good. So, so this is nice because 10 is a nice high number. It's 50. So 10's, a, I've been using a lot of 10 essences because uh, a lot of these have been in like the 50 and 60 range. So as long as I have whatever the goal is, in this case, hafnium, 
right, is 72. So that's 50 and 22. Easy peasy, right? So I do that, and then that's a fusion recipe for us. And titanium, like we have a lot of essence for, so we can just always, you know, break down more titanium. Actually, you already know how to do that, don't you? Right. Um, so what I can do is just get like, you know, a couple hundred of those and throw it into the melter dude, and that'll get us lots of the essence. Right. Cool. So that's lutetium and hafnium taken care of. Tantalum. That's 73. So 23 is vanadium. I don't think we have... Actually, we do have a lot of vanadium. I don't remember how or why, but we have enough that I will pattern it. So what I'll do is vanadium plus 10 will make my tantalum. That was supposed to be 110, not 64, Tim. Right? So it's hafnium is tin and titanium. Tantalum is tin and vanadium. I'm going to guess that this is 70, whatever the next number would be. Five? Yeah. So that would be 25, which is manganese. Do we have that one? We don't have manganese yet. Does that come from something easy? Uh, rarely. I look for ones that like has a pretty high chance of getting it. If I don't find that then what I wind up doing, just for fun, I'm just going to check all these compounds. Manganese can also be fissioned from indium. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to mess with that all. So what we're going to do for this one, um, so we've got tantalum, right? So it's rhenium that we need. Let's look at some other numbers that we can combine. Right? So generally what I'll do here is it's 75, right? So like, you know, what's something that we could add together? Like 26 is iron, 39 is yttrium. I know we know how to make yttrium, but I don't think we have a lot of it. So I'm not going to go that route, right? We don't have a ton of that stuff. Um, you know, we might go cobalt is 27. So that plus, what would it be, 48? 48 and 7? Yeah, so 48 would be cadmium. I think we do also have that, but not a lot of it. So again, we don't want to go with that number. So this is just figuring out the math to find a good combination of numbers that adds, adds up to 75 that we already have, right? Um, you know, we've got, let's say, I don't think we have a lot of cesium. You know what we have a lot of? We have a lot of tungsten, which is 74, and hydrogen, which is one more, right? So that'll get you your rhenium, which is 75. There you go. When in doubt, just add one. <laughs> Pretty good path. Uh, that works, right? And then thallium is 81. Um, so that one we will get from... We could do 31 and 50, which is gallium, but I don't think we have a lot of gallium, do we? Actually, we have a lot of gallium. Yeah, okay, I have no idea why we have a lot of gallium, but we have a lot of gallium. So gallium plus 10. Like I said, 10's a good number to start with when you're at the higher numbers, because you're already at 50, right? So it's like, okay, yeah, I can handle that. Okay. So let's get down here. You can see I've been adding to this stuff and we're actually kind of running out of room. But it's a lot of fusions usually. It's not nearly as much fissions. Like I haven't even filled up the first fission one. You guys aren't getting stuck, right? Actually, you are carbonate. Actually, no, you're fine. Yeah, you just have lots of... Let's call that enough shulker shell boxes for now. We'll just clear out this backlog of mess. There we go. Much cleaner. And then you should be ready for you did your thing. So now let's get all of our metals programmed in. So just showing you guys some more behind the scenes of what I've been working on to get this working. 
Um, so I need all the metals staged, but it's really just these five that we have to do. So I have to do lutetium times four. Did you go somewhere, lutetium? You did. Where did you land? Is somebody not locked? Do I already have lutetium crafting going? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, no, that's neat. I already had that over here. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, what I'm gonna do instead, because we really don't need you to exist anymore. I remember what, how you worked. Yeah, let's not let's not do this with this. Let's remove the lutetium here. So that lutetium is now crafted at the other location. And then I'll tear this whole thing down later. I wonder, I, you know what, I noticed the shulker shell thing and I'm like, I just probably missed, I just was being derpy that there's no way that that actually, oh yeah, no, it was there. Okay. There we go. That one threw me through a loop. Hafnium. And four is the magic number to like definitely get in time to lock the recipe. Technically you could probably get away with one, but it's a little bit easier to be to be safe. Uh, tantalum times four. And I haven't been adding these things that I've been teaching it how to make to the table. So the periodic table doesn't have all these elements. At some point I might do it just so that it looks cool, but eh, we'll see. It's, it's that much extra work that I've just been like avoiding because like I said, this has all been taking quite the time. So, and then thallium. There we go. Sweet. All right. So uh, I will continue to do this. Uh, the next row here um, will be lead, which is nice. We already have that. Bismuth, polonium, astatite, francium, radium, actinium, thorium, and protactinium. Words are fun, but yeah, we'll be back. I'll tell you what, mercury is another good one. I forgot where I get so much mercury from, but somewhere apparently. Uh, maybe a little, oh, Ender Pearls. Yeah, that's what's up. Uh, Mercury is a good one because it's 80. Uh, and I'm currently working on the next line, which is 93, 94, 95, 96. So I'm just adding all the low levels, right? So we just did Curium, I think, which is, you know, 80 plus 16 is 96. So now we're on to Berkelium, which will be 17, which is Chlorine. I don't think, we, oh, we do have Chlorine. That's right, we do. I forget from where, but we have it from somewhere. I mean, I've gotten to the point where I've got a lot of these now, right? Californium. So we drag this in. And that'll be 18, which is argon. I don't think we have that. But uh, I think we have potassium, right? We do have a lot of potassium. So we could do 19 and gold, which is 79. 79 and 19 should be 98. Cool. Uh, and then 99 is Einsteinium. Okay, and that would be 80 and 19, right? So it's back to Mercury. So lots of good combinations you can come up with here um, if you're looking for the patterns, right? 99, Einsteinium, sweet. And then Fermium would be 20. So that would be calcium, which I think we have a ton of. Yep, yep, so 20 and 80 is 100, cool. And then what I did was, uh, real quick off camera, I added a entangled block to the chest here, right? So we filled up all these slots, or at least a lot of them, but I'm going to dump all these guys in. Um, the other one in this row was uranium. So I think it's actually the third row from the end. So we're actually getting there. But if you look at the ultimate ingot, we're on this row. So uranium was the first one, obviously don't need to deal with that. But now we can just, you know, knock out in, in order here. Um, sweet. So Neptunium, get me four. Boom. Plutonium, get me four. And you guys have seen probably enough of this pattern by now. So back to off camera work. All right, I am very happy to report that line number two is about to be kicked off here, starting with Mendelvium. Which, by the way, 
Uh, you get this from Wither Skeleton Skulls. Pretty good. So all the others I had to fusion, though. So, But luckily they were all pretty easy to fusion. Because, like I said, when you get to the high numbers, Mercury and Gold are your go-tos. 100%. All right, final row. Boy, oh boy. We'll see what kind of mess this is, because I'm sure it's a big one. Looks like a big one, at least. This is kind of my new pattern. I put all the, I put all the elements on the, on the to-do list, and then I figure them out, too. Kind of all at the same time, rather than running back and forth a lot. It's, it's really the best way. All right, we are back, and I think I just got the very last batch of chemical combinations that we're going to need here. And I'm a little excited about that. Actually, this one's wrong. I knew I shouldn't have had that many. <laughs> uh, this one's correct, right? Osmium and neobinium will make tennesseum. Yes. Okay, so Oganesson should be the last one. So you already know how to make Oganesson, right? That's probably happening over here. Yes. And the same with Neodymium. So I'm going to clear these guys out. And you are 8 Oganesson with a Dragon's Breath is what you're doing. But where is the Oganesson ingots happening? That's a really good question. I have no idea where the Oganesson ingots It wouldn't be over here, because you didn't have any more recipes left. Should I look a gift horse in the mouth and figure out where this crafting is occurring? Missing 176 Oganesson. Yes, I agree. Um, or should we just teach it how to combine Oganesson? Because uh, it's 118. And what I could probably do... I think I can do that relatively easily, because isn't that uranium... And iron? Yes. That might be the better way to make Oganesson. Let me do that real quick. Uranium and iron will make Oganesson. It'll be better than using the Dragon's Breath. Okay. So Oganesson is 118. Uranium is 92. And iron is 26. And that adds up to 118, right? So if we throw this in here, that will probably be your better bet. I just am not at all clear on how you're crafting Oganesson. Oh, that must be the way I'm doing it. Did I program Oganesson in this dude? I guess I did. No. Oh, that's why. He's already unlocked. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. So now you should get Oganesson. There we go. Okay. Yep. Nope. Figured it out. For whatever reason he was, that would have been bad probably. And then this guy doesn't get anything because one of them we already had. Actually, no, I'm very confused as to why you don't need anything. Did we do all these? Did you not get your Tennesseeum locked? That probably is it. Yeah, I think Tennesseeum, for whatever reason, it worked, but something weird happened. So let's... Now nah, we're good. Yeah, I knew we had nine on this line, so it was surprising to me that the last one didn't have a recipe programmed. All fixed now. So, uh, hey, guess who should be able to make an ultimate ingot? Or four. Just saying. Uh, what I would like to do, though is I'd like to make sure that these are all in blocking mode. Because I have a concern, and that concern is that we don't want things to mix and match when they're fusing, because that will absolutely cause a problem. And I suspect we're going to run into this as a problem. I, I'm really probably pretty sure that that's going to happen. Um, effectively, what I'm thinking is I'm going to request multiple things at once, and that will be an issue. So what I think I want to do is I'm going to break you. I would like you to be a barrel, please. But I definitely want you in blocking mode. 
And my concern is that blocking mode won't work great with the entangle block, but I guess we'll find out. Because in theory, the ME interface should be able to read what's in the entangled block and not push items, but I guess we'll see what happens. So if I want an infinity ingot, or no, I want the ultimate ingot. If I want one of these, lots of available. We're missing a platinum ingot. You don't know how to make platinum, but that's okay. I know we did something with platinum. Did I do the platinum seed thing? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I remember what's up with platinum. Uh, he is happening over here with the singularities. So let's stop platinum singularities for a minute. I'm just going to hit that button. And if we need to get platinum singularities back, where are we with platinum singularity? Platinum? We're only at 29 singularities for them. So that's probably one of the ones we have like the lowest of. And it has, is that literally the one we have the lowest of? And yeah, we're a little bit low on violet and white matter and fading matter as well. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever, it doesn't hurt. No, those, actually, no, those are two stacks. So yeah, no, we're good on that, we're good on that. Electrum we're a little bit low on, and Invar we're a little bit low on, and that's about it. So what I could do is I could throw my Platinum into a Tier 4. Oh, no, it should already be in a Tier 4, isn't it? It is, right? Yeah, no, it is. Platinum. He's already in a Tier 4, and he's, you know, quickly making as much Platinum as he can. The problem is we only get two Platinum per craft, but now we're good on Platinum ingots, and it shouldn't be a problem. Cool. So let's do this. Let's try that. Uh, ultimate ingot again. Can I make two of them? So we're going to have to craft some things. We're going to have to craft some Indium. And that's about it, maybe. Hey, look, it worked. Ultimate ingots. Sweet. Now, if I want three more of these, this is where the real rubber meets the road because we're going to have a lot more crafting to do. Remember, for the most part, I'm going to do two just to make this as possible as possible. Uh, but for the most part, right, what we found... See, you're getting titanium in you? Why is that happening? What's up with titanium? Oh, somebody has two titanium in their rubber. That's why. Oh, I see what's happening. That's not a good thing. We shouldn't combine two like elements for ruthenium. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be confusing for this dude. That's what's happening, hundred percent. So let's not do that. Um, so what I would want to do is split this. But yeah, no, having two like elements is bad. But there's my other two ultimate ingots, which means my 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 craft completed. Uh, we should come up with a different recipe for ruthenium. So how about twenty six? And uh, what is he, 44? So 18? That's argon. That's not a good one. I don't think we have a lot of argon, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we don't. Uh, so how about 27 and 17? Because that's chlorine. Yes, let's do that. So chlorine would be 27 or 17, and 27 is cobalt, which I know we have a lot of, and that will get us ruthenium, right? Because 27 plus 17, 44. That's that's going to be better. Yeah. It I didn't occur to me that we just don't want to double anything. But obviously that makes a lot of sense. If you think about it, that would be bad. All right, cool. So now if we wanted an infinity or an ultimate ingot, this is the real test, is how much of a mess are we about to make? My suspicion is a lot. I think this is not going to work very well. But if blocking mode works perfectly, maybe. But there's a lot of fusion and fission about to happen. Blocking mode might actually be working. If blocking mode is working perfectly, then I am happy. Because it seems to be. Because if you think about it, every combination of resources should match up pretty well. Right? Like, every recipe has two items in it. So it should blocking mode itself pretty well. I'm actually surprised this might be working. I'm almost, I'm almost getting a little excited here that this might be working. See, this is all the fusioning happening. Wow, this is actually working? Is this actually working? It's amazing to me. I'm going to turn you off for a minute. 
How are we doing for this? Wow, 21 stacks of the 16 million storage components. I'll take it. I just want to see if it gets stuck at some point. I mean, it's obviously still crafting. My goodness, this is actually working. I did not expect this to work. I'm excited now. Wowzers, it is actually working. Sweet. I think it worked. Wow. Wow. It worked? That is bananas. That is bananas. All those crafts and it didn't get stuck at all. All right. In theory, we're going to want to make sure that that works more. But it's definitely wrapping up points. So for now, double 20 and off. That was a lot of work. I literally, I think that took me about three hours to do off camera. So uh, we did it in one episode. It would have been six episodes without all the editing and cutting out of, 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 of mess. But for now, wrapping up point, double 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.